Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Carried Away. We're going to do some campaign levels today. In fact, we're going to be finishing off the Alps. Because there's one level here we haven't done, which is called Bridge the Ridge. And I want to say thank you for all the support and feedback on the last episode. Seems like a lot of you really enjoyed the sandbox. Especially the crazy level that I came up with towards the end. So we have to do that again in the future, right? <laughs> I'll try and think of some more crazy things that we can do. Now this is going to be interesting because we've only got two anchor points which to me suggests making a giant arc from one side to the other. And that actually, can we go through that? Oh, we can go through the tree. Well that, we can go through all the trees. <laughs> well that kind of makes things a little bit different I guess. Let's start off with something like this. Oh, and you just can't make it to the other one can you? Of course you can't. Now I'd like to space them out sort of evenly, you know. <laughs> uh, but what we're going to do is make two layers here. So we'll have one that goes above, create some triangle shapes, and then... Ah, here's the thing. It needs to be higher than that, doesn't it? Okay, this is looking good. When we attach wheels to this, they're going to be the other side of the stars, which is kind of what we want. Can you connect to there? You can. Right. Now I reckon that'll hold up that shape, it might have a couple of weak points and require some tweaking here and there, but that is probably going to get all the stars. <laughs> okay, it looks very sturdy. Right, we've got a weak point down here which doesn't surprise me because we've got this nice arc here, but where it comes level with the other side, it then goes straight across, so I imagine a lot of that weight is getting pushed onto that beam. So we get all of those, and are we actually doing this level in one go? Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. No breakages, all the riders across, no problems, and that was literally the first time I hit play. That is a satisfying start to the episode, and that fella over there did an awesome jump. I want to see another one of those. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, you've landed on your face. But it didn't stop us from getting a medal. So I'm happy with that. What about you? Can you land properly? You can. You bumped into the other rider. Goodness me. Right, on to the next area we go. So we completed the Rookie Mountains, the Alps, and we have Sunshine Peaks to go. So another six levels. If I do maths quickly in my head, basic maths. Let's do an easy level, because that one was kind of easy. I want to go on a roll. Let's do containment. Let's see if we can crack another one of these in one go. Oh, I see. Now, here's the thing. We don't have any anchor... Oh, we do have an anchor point. We've got an anchor point... Oh, either side. Oh, it's kind of very similar to what we've just done then. So we got to go from one side over to the other. This is going to be kind of easy, I reckon. In fact, if we structure it like that... Ah, it actually needs a bit more. So let's bring that one back. Bring you up to the middle like so. I like these things to look even, you know? And that ain't even. Let's delete all of that and let's try something here. So we take that shape and we copy it and then we flip it on the horizontal. We get something pretty close. So I think if we just tweak this a tiny bit, it'll end up being all right. Okay, now I'm going to lower that so we have at least a little bit of an arc. Then we're going to come in with some supports underneath. That one can actually attach itself to there. Can we do the same over here? No, it's because I made this a little bit shorter. Oh no, we can. Okay. I thought it highlighted it when it can connect. Anyway, the next one. I'm going to do the same thing again and go to the middle. Oh, this is nice and easy. And then one across between the two. Now, it doesn't want to come out that far at the moment, does it? Is that really as far as it will go? I guess it is. Let's lower that a little bit. Let's change this here and make it into a triangle like so. Which I think will make that a bit of a weak point. Um, but you know what's coming next? You might think we're going for the one at the top. I'm actually going to go for those two in those positions. That's going to land it on the roof. No. Let's actually go for the one at the top then. Okay, so do I want to revise anything here? Yeah, I reckon this bit here is going to give way. And we need a bit more height in the whole of this. This uh, contraption of ours. Okay, I want to bring that up a little bit as well. Now that looks slightly sturdier. Final adjustment. And I think we've got to give it a go now, right? Okay, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, peeps. It... Oh. Oh. 
Now it's a bit much, isn't it? It's a bit much. It's too too narrow here. So I can try and reinforce these, but I've got a feeling that's not going to be enough. So I've gone back to the drawing board here and kind of redesigned the same shape again and made it a little bit broader overall, a little bit bigger. It's still got a weak spot over here. These things are unbalanced. This one is higher than that one, so that kind of puts it out of whack. It's hard to make it symmetrical. Wow, and it still just falls apart straight away. Hmm, wondering if I actually have the wrong approach to this. And that puts us over budget, which is why I redesigned it, by the way, because as I'm adding these supports, I'm realizing, hey, we've gone over the limit here. Well, as you know, my plan is to live stream this in the future and to redo the levels where I don't get the budgets and stuff done. Yeah, and every time every time we do that, it just goes to another point, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, I think we should delete these and go back to the same structure, which we've already got built, and just keep moving things around. Maybe have these things come across a little bit. There's not a lot of leeway here for moving them. And it's really tricky to get it to go exactly where you want. What's changed? We've got this thing over here, which rediverts attention to this side. And then this bit of wood here adds a little bit of support. And it looks like it's going to snap all the time. And it does make me wonder, if we can get away with that, maybe we didn't have to use as much wood overall. And I could have brought it just under budget. Which is 9,000, so we're 260 over. Oh, and that nudges the tree and then that. But you do technically make it across. And it's given us the pass. Let's see how the second rider does. Second rider gets through as well. Lands on their feet or skis. <laughs> I'll take that then. I'd say that's pretty good. Unfortunately, our streak of doing things in one go is over for now. Um, so what should we do next? I feel like doing the easy ones today. <laughs> let's let's race you there. Okay, let's find out what this one is about. It's probably a race level, right? Or a jump level even. No, it's a ski lift level. Okay, so we got a couple of supports here, a couple of supports there. These trees in the way are just the, like, yeah, the area trees, if you want to call them that. So no other obstacles other than this thing, right. Hmm. Oh, there's also that there. Now that's very interesting. There's a star. Because we could build a tower up nice and easy. This thing goes up, goes straight across to the end there. Problem solved. But in order to get that star, we've got to bring the skier down. And there appears to be no anchor points around here other than these ones. I'm wondering if we're supposed to use the rope at some point to make some sort of... I don't even know what I'm building right now. But let's just build it anyway and see what happens. Yeah, this looks absolutely mad as I build it. This looks like a crazy idea. Okay, and then we put a wheel on it. And then we click play and... Yeah, that's absolutely mad. <laughs> it's a crazy idea. That I don't think that really helps that, that rope right there. But we should try it. We should at least try it, you know. What have we got to lose here? So we go over budget here very quickly. I think if you want to keep it under budget, you're not going to get the star at the same time. So you've got to go to do those in different runs. Now what's interesting about this is that it kind of holds out this thing over here for a moment. But as soon as that one breaks, so does that one there. Or maybe it's the other way around. I'm not sure. Um, but here's the thing, this tower's under a lot of stress because it's got to lean over and it's got to hold the anchor point over here. And I don't think, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that today. I'm going to try a couple more things and brainstorm it of course. But I really feel like this is extremely challenging. Okay, this level is supposed to be easy, right? Didn't I pick an easy one? It's being crazy tough right now. I think this is just a little too high overall. So what we're going to do is delete everything at the top. We're going to attach... Actually, let's put it on that point. That's probably stronger. And this one over here is fine. It's like a, a wonky tower, but it's the one on this side that seems to deal with all of the slack. And maybe we've put some of that on this side now. So this thing can now hold up, but obviously it's going to hit that. Maybe the thing at the top went too high. <laughs> that rider's having a bad time. Down you go. Oh dear. Uh, right, so if we grab the wood tool and we select that and we just bring it up a tiny bit, maybe a bit more than that actually, because we do have a ways to go here. Put the wheel at the top of that. Maybe that was a little bit better than what I had going before. Also, the thing on the other side gave way. It never did that before. Then again, I never let it run longer than when this tower here had broken. 
There's just too much slack. It's got too long of a journey to go, I think, is the problem. Okay, it's coming close to breaking, and the second rider is about to go on. And what I did last of all is I load this down at the top. That top triangle seems to cause so many problems. And then over here, this thing looks kind of ridiculous, but it seems to work. The reason we got two wheels on is to try and take the pressure off of uh, what's going on on the other side here. Because this big slack always seems to end up hurting our tower over here on the side. Uh, we are well over budget, by the way. It seems crazy to think you could do that with less. But there you go. So we got three of five medals. Apparently that one was easy. I, I disagree. I disagree entirely. So let's go back and do a hard one. Let's do Knuckle Mountain next. Okay, Knuckle Mountain. This is interesting. We've learned something here before. Oh wow, look at that tree. Okay, and look at the anchor points. There's been a theme this episode that the anchor points have been far apart from one in the other. So do we really have to do this again where we build one of these big arcs because they have been a pain in the butt to get working right and it's going to end up looking something like that <laughs> so then this thing's got to go straight up let's actually attach a wheel somewhere here so we can sort of roughly see then it's got to go across this way now we've learned that it can go through um, that thing whatever it's called and then it needs to go up so where are the anchor points the anchor points are over here Yikes, that does not look good. That looks really tough. So I'm going to make this shape. Actually, let's make it like that. Okay, and then keep it going up. Because we're going to need an anchor point or whatever it's called somewhere up here. Now, this is a problem. In order to go through there, we need it to be somewhere around here. So actually, I'm looking for... Oh, this is, this is bonkers. <laughs> we're looking for something like this. Hi, if only you would just connect. Of course I'm going to revise all this. We're doing a rough run. That's too close to the tree, but we actually need something like that. Then it needs to go up high enough that it can go over that tree and to the end. You know what? It's going to be tricky, but I think we can do it. It's this thirst bit, I think, that's going to be the toughest. Well, I've gone hideously over budget straight away. And, and that's never going to work. This, this right here. As soon as we attach this thing to it, it's it's going to fail miserably. I'm half thinking again, take the easy route out and uh, avoid the stars, but if we just do that, ah, it's a little bit better than I thought. Well, then it falls apart, so maybe not. Um, and there's not a lot of room to really increase the size of this thing, right? But anyway, we've got one rope, and I can't help but feel the rope has got something to do with this, but how would this work exactly? Where is the rope pulling from because rather than having this big arc I think you've got to build something and then have the rope pull you. It could be this thing over here actually. It could be a case of build, hmm, again this thing needs to be above the tree so it's quite a stretch but if this thing was acting individually then you have a rope pulling back. Yeah and the rope only goes so far so I'm really not sure what they're getting at here like this this feels like an extremely over the top challenge you know what I mean? This whole thing is kind of driving me mad at the moment, so I've created somewhat of a mess to get this thirst bit to work. I mean, you need so much support all over the place, and it keeps re-diverting stress to different places each time you support something, right? Um, but then there's this massive slack across this gap here, which I just don't know how to deal with. Like, look at that. They're going to hit that sign so easy. I really feel like the blue stars are <laughs> not something to go for. So if I attach that there, let's come around and put it on the back like so. Now at the moment it looks kind of bad because it looks like it's not going to go through the gap. But now it's positioned above it. Ah, oh, This level is kind of driving poor old Asuma mad at the moment. I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> Well, I added this extra row across the bottom, and that actually seemed to be the thing that made the difference here. What a crazy structure, way over budget, and you're nudging that sign, that's okay, I guess. There's not too much we can do about that. There is a bit of slack here, though. Problem, again, as I pointed out earlier, <laughs> that was unfortunate, is if you raise this up higher, the wire ends up on the top. Do you know what we could do, actually? We could actually probably get away with something like this here. So that would help keep 
the riders above this bit and then hopefully that goes through let's see what happens oh it goes under this time well maybe that makes the difference so we've got a little bit extra at the end here oh look at that they're going to hit right into the tree so that's kind of pointless but both stars too close to the tree but you get away with it second one gets away with it do they all get away with it all right if they're all getting away with it then uh, i think what we should do is attach Yikes, that's probably not going to even be enough. We probably need to go as high as that, don't we? And that's where some problems might be caused. Okay, so it's made that one there kind of redundant. Let's get rid of it. That still doesn't look high enough, does it? I'm going to attach... Since we're way over budget, I don't really care. We're going to attach another little thing like that. Hopefully all of that holds out. It's all coming from down here. Yeah, not surprised to see that happen at all. Let's delete the last one. Let's see if it holds up like that. Ah, it's still really bad. All right, I've thrown in loads of supports over here because I just want to complete the level. I don't care about the budget. Our first rider has got on both the stars. Over the top you go. Let's slow it down a little bit as well. Looks like we've done it. And i got to say, I don't know how on earth you do that under budget. <laughs> that was kind of mental and ridiculously difficult and it took a lot of time. Let's speed it up again. There we go. So, four, four medals. Not so bad, actually. Not so bad. Uh, we've got a rider down the bottom there somewhere. Don't know what's going on with you. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like. As always, thank you for the support. And I'll see you soon for the next episode of Carried Away. Bye-bye.